I'm Julie McIsaac, and I'm the co-book writer and co-lyricist of Les Filles du Roi. My name is Corey Payette. I'm the artistic director of Urban Inc. I'm the co-book lyricist, the composer, and the director of Les Filles du Roi. The story begins, uh, we see a young Mohawk girl named Gadari and her brother Jean-Baptiste, and they're on the shores and they're preparing to go to the fort to trade that day, and uh, they happen to be at the fort on the day that a boat arrives, with a boatload of these young women arriving in France. And so we, uh, we get the narrative and the story of these young women and what they might be experiencing, in particular one young woman, Marie-Jeanne, but it's really through the perspective and through the encounter with this young Mohawk girl, Gadari, and the relationship that emerges, the friendship that emerges, the tensions that emerge, the conflicts that emerge in the, the triangulation of that relationship. So Gadari, Jean-Baptiste, and Marie-Jeanne. This was something that was really absent from the narrative of our country and how we came into being, that we knew one perspective, but we're missing the whole other side of the story. And tracing that history through language, both through the, the English that is, that is included in the piece, the French that is included in the piece, and the Kanyengaha that is uh, in the piece. That's a dialect of Mohawk. We know that so much culture is transmitted through language. And so we felt that it was really important to use Les Filles du Roi as a vehicle for that language reclamation. Well, there's gonna be 15 performers on stage. There's five principal characters and there's a chorus of six women. And then there's four musicians as well on stage with us. This has been a show that has been in development for many, many years. And so a lot of the audience who maybe saw Children of God last year, and if that reached people or, or made people feel something, I think that Le Fils du is a really fantastic through line that is about shifting our, our perspectives. Cracking that open about having a larger discussion and a larger perspective on these, on these histories that we have been told, and then flipping that around so that it's now the women and the indigenous people who have been oppressed for so long to actually have the stage and say, we are here, we have been here, and we will always be here.